When you think of the solar system, you probably see the sun and a handful of planets circling it. A neat, familiar neighborhood. But what if I told you that's just a tiny part of an enormous, mysterious realm? A place so vast and strange, it stretches billions of kilometers beyond what we can easily imagine. It's filled with icy worlds, invisible boundaries, and secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew about home. Today, we're setting off on a journey to explore the true scale of our cosmic backyard. And trust me, it's going to blow your mind. Imagine the sun as a glowing basketball sitting on an empty field. From this basketball, the planets orbit at different distances, each one like a tiny marble placed farther and farther away. Closest to the sun is Mercury, a small pebble just 58 million kilometers away. Mercury is a scorched, cratered rock baking under the sun's fierce heat. If our basketball sun is at the center of a park, Mercury would be a tiny stone about two meters from it. Next comes Venus, a shiny marble at 108 million kilometers out, or roughly four meters from the basketball. Venus is a toxic, cloud-covered furnace where surface temperatures can melt lead and sulfuric acid rains down. Now our home, Earth, sits exactly 150 million kilometers away. This distance is called one astronomical unit, or one AU, the basic ruler for measuring space distances in our solar system. On our field, Earth would be a blueberry placed about six meters from the sun. Earth is the only planet known to host life, with its blue oceans and swirling white clouds. Beyond Earth, the distances grow quickly. Mars, the red planet, orbits at 1.52 AU, about one and a half times the Earth-Sun distance. That's like placing a cherry roughly nine meters away from the basketball. Mars is a dusty desert world, home to the tallest volcano and deepest canyon in the solar system. Then comes the asteroid belt, stretching from 2.2 to 3.2 AU. Despite what you see in movies, these space rocks are far apart. You could drive for days through this zone without hitting anything. Next, the gas giants, Jupiter, the giant king, orbits at 5.2 AU, about 32 meters from our basketball sun. Jupiter is a swirling ball of raging storms, including the Great Red Spot, a hurricane twice the size of Earth. Saturn, famous for its icy rings, sits at 9.5 AU, almost 60 meters away. Its rings stretch wide and glitter in the sunlight, made of ice chunks and space dust. Uranus, the tilted ice giant, orbits at 19.2 AU, about 120 meters out on our park. Uranus spins on its side with a pale blue-green color caused by methane in its atmosphere. And Neptune, the blue planet farthest from the sun, circles at 30 AU, nearly 200 meters away. Neptune is a cold, windy world with the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching over 2,000 kilometers per hour. For a long time, the dwarf planet Pluto was considered the edge of the solar system. At 39.5 AU, it's like a tiny crumb almost 260 meters from the basketball sun. Pluto is a frozen world with a heart-shaped glacier and a mysterious atmosphere that expands and shrinks as it orbits. From the sun to Pluto, we've stretched across nearly 6 billion kilometers of empty space. It feels enormous, but trust me, Pluto isn't the end at all. It's not even close. If the solar system were your house, Pluto would just be the mailbox at the end of your driveway. Just beyond Pluto's orbit stretches the Kuiper Belt, a vast, icy ring extending billions of kilometers around our solar system. It's home to thousands of frozen objects, ranging from tiny chunks of ice and rock to dwarf planets like Eris, Hormia, and Makemake. These icy worlds are like ancient time capsules, leftovers from the chaotic birth of our solar system, preserving clues about how planets formed over 4.5 billion years ago. The Kuiper Belt isn't just a simple ring. Its residents travel on wildly different orbits, some almost circular, others stretched into long ellipses, some tilted far off the solar system's flat plane. This diversity reveals a violent early history with gravity slingshots and collisions shaping their paths. Some Kuiper belt objects occasionally get nudged by gravity, falling inward toward the sun and becoming the comets we see blazing across our night skies. 
Their surfaces are mysterious too, coated in frozen ices, complex organic molecules, and sometimes striking reddish colors, tinted by billions of years of cosmic radiation exposure. Launched in 1977, NASA Voyager 1 spacecraft speeds through space at about 17 kilometers per second, almost 61,000 kilometers per hour. Even at this blazing speed, it took Voyager 35 years to cross Pluto's orbit. But don't worry about Voyager crashing into anything. The Kuiper Belt's objects are spread incredibly far apart, with billions of kilometers of empty space between them. The chance of collision is practically zero. Imagine floating in this cold, lonely wilderness. Your nearest neighbors would be distant strangers, scattered across a vast, frozen cosmic ocean. To truly grasp the scale of this remote region, consider that Voyager 1 and 2, launched in 1977, took nearly a decade to reach the Kuiper Belt's inner edge. This icy ring, stretching from 30 to 50 AU, marks the beginning of the great cosmic frontier within our solar system's vast embrace. Beyond the familiar planets and icy bodies lies something invisible but massive, the heliosphere. Imagine the sun as a powerful cosmic blower, continuously pushing out a fierce wind made of charged particles, called the solar wind. This solar wind streams outward in every direction, shaping a gigantic, protective bubble around our entire solar system. This bubble, the heliosphere, stretches roughly 100 to 150 times the distance between the Earth and the sun, reaching out to nearly 15 to 22 billion kilometers. Inside this vast bubble, we're constantly bathed in solar particles and magnetic fields. Think of it as a giant shield. It guards us against much of the harsh cosmic radiation and high-energy particles zipping through the Milky Way galaxy. Without this shield, life on Earth would face much greater risks from radiation storms and dangerous space weather. The outer edge of this bubble is called the heliopause, an invisible shifting boundary where the outward pressure of the solar wind finally balances against the incoming particles and magnetic fields from the rest of the galaxy. Crossing the heliopause means stepping beyond the sun's direct influence, entering the vast, cold, and mostly unknown realm of interstellar space, the space between stars filled with gas, dust, and cosmic rays. In 2012, NASA Voyager 1 made history by becoming the first human-made object to cross this boundary, leaving behind the protective bubble of our solar system. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, crossing the heliopause at a different point, confirming our understanding of this cosmic frontier. Today, these two robotic pioneers are floating more than 20 billion kilometers away from us, far beyond Pluto's orbit, still sending back faint signals. These whispers from the edge help scientists piece together how the heliosphere protects us and how our solar system interacts with the rest of the galaxy. So this invisible bubble is not just a distant boundary. It's a vital shield that stands guard between us and the dangers of deep space, a cosmic force field keeping our little corner of the universe safe. If you keep traveling outward beyond the heliosphere, you'll enter some of the most remote and mysterious parts of our solar system. First comes the scattered disk, a remote, lonely region where icy bodies follow wild, elongated orbits. Here, these frozen wanderers take hundreds, sometimes thousands of years, to complete just one slow lap around the sun. Imagine being out here, planets are gone, sunlight is faint and cold, and your closest neighbors might be drifting so far away, you'd wait centuries just to see them complete a single orbit. But even the scattered disk isn't the final frontier. Surrounding it all is the mysterious Oort cloud, a colossal, nearly perfect sphere of trillions of icy objects, stretching as far as one full light year from the sun. This vast shell marks the outermost edge of our sun's gravitational grip. Out here, the sun's pull is incredibly weak, locked in a constant tug of war with the gravity of nearby stars. To give you a sense of scale, NASA Voyager 1 spacecraft, hurtling through space at over 61,000 kilometers per hour, won't reach the inner Oort cloud for another 300 years. And even once it arrives, 
it might take tens of thousands of years to cross this distant icy frontier completely. This means that the solar system isn't just a flat family of planets. It's a gigantic, three-dimensional cosmic bubble, stretching far beyond anything we can easily imagine. And beyond the Oort cloud lies the true vastness of interstellar space, the endless dark sea between stars, waiting for Voyager and our dreams to sail into. So the truth is, our solar system is not just a neat row of planets ending at Pluto. It's an empire of dust, ice, wind, and gravity stretching light years into the dark. We live in its warm, bright center, but our home extends far beyond what our eyes can see. And somewhere out there, two tiny spacecraft, no bigger than a family car, are still making their way outward, showing us that even in our own backyard, we've only just begun to explore. 